In activity 2.13, I'll demonstrate using the isNull construct in the criteria field of a query to select only those rows that have an empty field. But open the 2A Instructors Courses database. Make sure all your objects are closed. Click on Create, Query Design, Schedule, Close the Show Table window expand the schedule table window so you can see all of the fields double click subject catalog section course name and credits in the subject field sort ascending in the catalog field sort ascending in the section field sort ascending and in the credits under criteria Type the, the phrase is null and hit enter. Now, typically, when you put criteria in, it's going to surround it in quotes, indicating it's a text criteria. But is null is a reserved phrase in Access. And null, N U L L, in database parlance means a field that is devoid of any value. It's null is not equal to zero. Null is not equal to an empty string. Both of those are values stored in a database field. But when something is null, it means no value has ever been stored in that field, or at least there's no value currently in that field. Now run the query, and you'll note that the subject catalog and section numbers are properly sorted, but the only rows that were returned from the database query are those rows where credits has a null value. Next, name the query using the familiar last name, first name, 2A credits query. Now, you'll see that the query was stored under schedule instead of instructors because schedule is the underlying data source where, where it gets its information. Double click the query. Let's print it now. File, print, print preview. Send it to the PDF writer. The correct file name is already selected. Save it. Close the print preview, close the object, widen the navigation pane until you can see the entire object name for every single object. Now close the database and close Microsoft Access and that's the end of chapter two lessons.